Meet Jim. Jim is a curious guy and like most people, he likes to question everything rather than accepting the norm. One day, after a nice exercise routine, Jim was washing his hands. He was aware of the importance of hygiene, especially considering the ongoing pandemic. While doing so, something caught Jim's attention. Nothing out of the ordinary. It was just the water trickling from the closed tap. The kind of trickling that is usually observed from faulty taps that are a little worn out over time. As he noticed it more carefully, he saw that the stream was breaking into droplets after some time. What could be the reason behind that peculiar behavior, he thought? After some desperate clicks on the internet, Jim stumbled upon the topic of fluid dynamics where he learned about the various equations developed over the years that describe the behavior of fluids in an environment. And there he had the answer to his question. The reason for that peculiar behavior of the falling stream is a phenomenon governed by plateau Rayleigh instability. It explains how a circular column of a non-viscous liquid falling vertically will break up into drops. Just like any other system, small perturbations arise naturally in this system as well. These perturbations or disturbances cause crests and troughs to develop in the stream, thus causing waves. Joseph Plateau in 1873 experimentally found that the stream breaks up into droplets if the wavelength of this vertically falling column is greater than about 3.13 times the diameter. Just like Jim, we too come across such seemingly normal yet extremely complex instances in our day-to-day -day life. The same plateau Rayleigh instability is observed in inkjet printers for printing where a stream of ink is divided into droplets and focused on a piece of paper for printing. Fluid dynamics is a subdiscipline of fluid mechanics. It is a vast subject in itself and influences a great majority of areas. Did you know that a simple exercise of mixing milk into iced coffee is related to big cosmic events like supernova explosions? Wondering how that is possible? Well, they both are governed by Rayleigh-Taylor instability, which explains the instability of the interface between two fluids of different densities. When a more dense fluid such as milk is poured into a less dense fluid such as iced coffee, then the more dense fluid tends to go down due to gravity while the less dense fluid tends to go up. This causes the interface between the two fluids to become more and more unstable, forming a so-called finger. This finger then extends more and more due to the instability leading to the formation of Kelvin Helmholtz instabilities. This instability is not only evident in the mixing of two fluids of different densities, but also in Crab Nebula, a supernova explosion, and even in the mushroom clouds formed due to nuclear explosions or volcanic eruptions. Fluid dynamics thus influences and explains numerous phenomena from the forces on an aircraft, flow of fluids around objects, and as discussed, nebula in space, as well as the detonation of nuclear weapons. The problems in fluid dynamics are solved by equations formed from various conservation laws and an assumption of the fluid as a continuum, meaning that the changes are gradual rather than being abrupt. Such equations generally fall into the category of differential equations and their solutions are not as simple as the phenomena they represent. Hence, they might prove to be a rigorous task to solve. This is where the power of the most universal tool comes in. Computers, as we all know, can be used not only to do simple tasks, but also to perform rigorous calculations with unparalleled ease and accuracy. The equations governing the fluid systems and their solutions can be simplified in various ways by using computational fluid dynamics. Computational fluid dynamics is a branch of fluid mechanics that solves the problems in fluid flows by the use of numerical analysis and data structures. 
calculations of fluid flow and interactions of liquids and gases can be performed easily by defining the boundary conditions. With high-speed computers, better solutions are obtained easily. As a result of the points discussed, computational fluid dynamics is applied in a wide range of fields such as the aerodynamics of aircraft, cars, simulation of flames, and even in biological engineering like blood flow in the human aorta. Moreover, numerical computing can be achieved by using computing environments such as MATLAB. With simple inputs of variables and matrices, functions can be plotted and multivariable equations can be solved easily. MATLAB or Matrix Laboratory is a wonderful tool with applications in engineering, science, and even economics. It is used for not only numerical analysis, but also for linear algebra, control engineering, and even image processing. Other numerical solvers designed specifically for computational fluid dynamics, like OpenFOAM, which stands for Open Source Field Operation and Manipulation, are very helpful in solving the partial differential equations that are usually encountered in fluid flows. Apart from being free, OpenFOAM has a wide range of usability in numerics, turbulence, optimization, and marine and nuclear applications. So guys just like Jim, if you too are curious about the workings of simple yet complex systems involved in various aspects of life, then head on to Skill Link and check out the introduction to CFD using MATLAB and OpenFORM course. Skill Link provides up-to-date industry-relevant courses required for today's engineers in not just mechanical, but civil, electrical and computer science domains too. And all these great benefits within the comfort of your home couldn't sound better. Check out the link in the description to know more about us. And as always, until next time, bye!